Stephen A. Smith talked about LeBron's tenure in Miami. While doing so, he spoke on the greatness of Dwayne Wade and criticized LeBron for missing Dwayne Wade's Hall of Fame ceremony. He then transitioned to Kobe Bryant's memorial, saying that LeBron missed both events without an explanation. Take a listen to what he had to say here. Why do you think I was so upset when LeBron James wasn't at Dwayne Wade's Hall of Fame induction ceremony? I still can't believe that wasn't a big enough story. It's supposed to be your brother. Now, I understand Ronnie James, just a few months ago, had the heart ailment, collapsed at USC, rushed to the hospital. Thank God he's okay. And I understand LeBron James spending time with family. But from my understanding, he traveled over the summer. And I'm not LeBron James, and I don't get to take private jets that often. But occasionally I do. And I happen to know that you, had, you could have had time to fly in for the Hall of Fame induction of your brother. I promise you this, and it's a prognostication, it's a prediction, but I can't say definitively, but I'm almost willing to say, let me promise you that when LeBron James Day comes and he's inducted into the Hall of Fame, I promise you D-Wade will be there. You can bet the house. There's a lot that we don't talk about with LeBron James. Remember when the memorial service took place for Kobe Bryant? I'm quite sure he had his reasons. LeBron was devastated, loved Kobe. We get that. I can't believe I didn't see him there. Magic was there. Jordan was there. Shaq was there. Steph Curry was there. D-Wade was there. The NBA community was in attendance. We didn't see LeBron James. Two of the most conspicuous, biggest moments, albeit for completely different and in Kobe's case, absolutely tragic reasons. We didn't see the face of LeBron James, the face of the league, one of the preeminent faces in the world of sports. And every time we turn around and we ask these questions, it's like throwing shade. It's not throwing shade. It's recognizing his greatness, his significance, his impact, and wondering why. I'm simply saying, I'm not asking the rhetorical questions, but why is it so wrong to bring these things up? Why is it so wrong if I'm sitting up there and I'm saying, yo, this quote that you said, it's not paying enough homage. I know that you raved and talked about the Miami Heat organization, but you were going to be what you were going to be no matter what without them. That's just not true. That's just not true. Now, obviously, everyone handles grief differently, but I think the reason some people were annoyed was because they asked Rich Paul where LeBron was at, and he said his own space. Then he ignored them after they asked if LeBron was at the memorial. When they asked LeBron himself, he completely dodged the question. But in my opinion, the memorial was about Kobe, and it doesn't matter if LeBron was there or not. When it comes to LeBron missing Dwayne Wade's Hall of Fame ceremony, people were saying it was because of Bronny and his cardiac arrest, but that's not true. They went to a Drake concert right after that, and LeBron was shooting commercials for his tequila company. He might have had a good reason, I'm not going to speculate, but this isn't exclusive to LeBron. People were saying the same thing when Kobe didn't go to Shaq's jersey retirement, even though he was in the same building. They also questioned Ray Allen when he missed Paul Pierce's jersey retirement, and those players were beefing at the time. The fact that LeBron and Dwayne Wade are best friends, and he still decided not to go, is a little weird. I can see Stephen A's point there, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you agree with Stephen A on this? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more NBA content just like this, and I will see you in the next upload.